Tchau. Well, hey, didn't see you there. My name is Wyatt, and we're in San Francisco today, and we're getting ready for our uh, backpacking trip into Big Sur, California. We're gonna go to the top of Cone Peak. So the way the trip's gonna work is the first night, we're gonna hike to Goat Camp. We're gonna camp there for the night, and then the second day, we're gonna hike to the top of Cone Peak. After that, we'll camp at Vincente Flat Campground, and then on the third day, we'll just hike back and make it back to the city. So we made it to Kirk Creek Campground. We're just off Highway 1. Uh, we're at the trailhead. Uh, we're gonna hike about five miles up to Vicente Flats, at which point we're, hopefully we can take a break and uh, get some more water, but uh, we're all ready to go. We just spent three hours in a car and I'm ready to hike, so. So let's do it. Let's go. So I hope you guys can see this, but that's a mountain and that's the ocean. That's where we started and uh, it's only been probably about 10 minutes. So hey, we're going up. I have some speculations as to which one is Cone Peak. Uh, it could be, let me, there you go, now it's exposed. It could be those two that are exposed, or it could lie within the fog and the mystery of time. We'll find out soon. Stay tuned. Today for lunch, we have some sweet and spicy tuna, which I'm currently devouring. And we had some urban garlic tuna. Now I gotta say, much better than this, but still pretty good for my dessert. That's an apple. This is what's happening right now. We had a great lunch, and now we're gonna go to goat camp. We're halfway through the day. No one's fallen to their death, even though I tried. So, I think it's time to go. The bag feels heavier. It feels heavier than it did when we started. It feels heavier than it did before I put it down for lunch. So, I don't know what the fuck happened there. But look at this. Wave. So we are here at an impasse. Uh, if you look over to my front, uh, all these trees came crashing down. So, can't go up and over it. So, we're gonna go around it. Yeah, give me one second. All good, yeah, take the path off. We're almost there, the sun is setting. I think we're gonna be hiking in the dark. Now we're gonna traverse alongside the mountain before we get to go camp. Should be a beautiful night. It is currently 7.40 p.m. Feels like 11. We hiked in the dark for about 30 minutes. 
um, but we're here, we made it. As we were coming through, there were a lot of toppled trees on top of uh, the trail and we had to work our way around. Um, that last section of the trail was very rugged. That's the best word I would use to describe it. It was rugged. Uh, my feet are wet. Uh, we crossed a few rivers on our way over here um, and I thought my shoes were waterproof. Turns out they aren't. Oh yeah, so along our way, we uh, we took a break and uh, Goody found a tick on his body. Burning, burning them makes them move their head out normally. You oh. Use like a match or something like that. I definitely that. want to try that. Um, and for some reason I had f like four on me. Um, and we had to rip those little suckers out so we didn't get Lyme disease. Ow, fuck. <laughs> oh wow. Damn, they really do like get in there. Right? Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's no there. joke. I'm a, I'm... Sorry. Oh, okay. I think you got it. Fully. I got it. Yeah. You got his head you, too. You see his head. Nice. Okay. A uh, goodie had it the worst. Uh, he even had a mark like from where the head had been. It was swelling up all around him. But luckily, we saved Goody, and he'll you know live another day. That tick though, it's not gonna make it. Overall, it's been a fantastic day. I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, it's going to be great, and we're going to keep trudging along. So with that, I'm going to go to bed. It's 7 a.m. Here's Colin. My Morning. Did you sleep good? All right. Yeah? Better than I thought it would. Yeah. <sighs> it was comfy. Time for coffee. Right now it's about 8.15 a.m. So we're gonna start hiking. Uh, we just packed everything up. We're gonna go fill up our water and then we have 10 miles to do today. We're gonna make it to the top of Cone Peak and then we're gonna head back down to Vicente Flats, which is where we had lunch yesterday. And so now we're gonna go, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this hike, guys. So let's skedaddle. City and it's poorly managed. Joe, what are you doing right now? <laughs> How are we getting through here? I'm about to crawl under here, but I'm gonna have to take my bag off first. Look, cause there's no way around. Woo. So that's what we're doing. Go, Joe, go, Joe. He's taking it. Wait, what? Here, grab your hat. You got a tick. Where? I need those pliers, buddy. Here, do you want to? Yeah, I can do it. You want to? You want me to do it? Well, because I can't really see it. You almost got him. You almost got him. Didn't get all of it. Oh, else got ticks? We made it to Trail Spring Camp. It means we're almost to Cone Peak. It got kind of cold. You've seen what we had to go through. Um, we just did a tick check, and um, I'm eating my uh, my V Last pistachio for the day. So we're gonna keep going. the jump, I'll just crawl under. Oh. Whew. Dirty again. We are about to summit Cone Peak. Is everyone? Of 
tired and hungry. 12.30, we made it. Come peek. Here we are, um, the trail was treacherous and hard, but we made it here, 5,200 feet elevation. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Uh, we have about another three hours of sunlight before it starts to go bye bye. So anyway, we'll see you guys back on the trail. Uh, this trail, except for this tree that I'm about to duck under, has been relatively clear. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I think everyone likes it. It's a good change of pace. Um, it's also not uphill, so we're going fast. And we're hoping to make it to Vicente Flats before nightfall, which, if you can't tell, is happening soon. We're on a ridge overlooking the valley. We didn't get to Vicente Flats because it would have taken too long, so we ended up stopping alongside the road. And we camped up here. We watched a beautiful sunset. And now we're getting ready for bed. Um, it's been a long day. We reached the top of Cone Peak. It was awesome. It was beautiful. Um, I'm very excited that we did it. I'm also ready to go home. It's a beautiful morning. Got up early, I watched the sunrise. And um, now we're gonna have some oatmeal. And then we're gonna head back to the car. Trailhead right down there. seven and a half miles to go and then we can get back to the car. How do I know? It says it right there. Now I made it back to Vicente Flats. I can hear the water and see it. And I am thirsty. Let's drink. I'm exhausted. at uh, Kirk Creek Camp. If you are gonna do this hike, what I would say is go to Vicente Flats and then make a base camp there and then on your second day, go up to Cone Peak and then come back and then spend the night at Vicente Flats two nights and then hike back. The last three days were really great. Um, it was an awesome trip. It was hard. And now I'm gonna go get a beer and a burger with the bros and you know, it's the end to a beautiful trip. Um, I can't wait for the next one. I would very much like my honey bun. Why would you like a honey bun, sir? Huh? These views are really good. Oh, shit. Oh. In the edit, bleep what I just said, because I did say a bad word, but you should use that.